So the next thing we have to look at is our truss. And our truss is this blue stuff right here. Now, if you've taken a geometry class, you're going to look, hey, that kind of looks like geometry. Oh, it is. And we use a lot of trig to uh, calculate uh, its load capacities and its stress and, and tension and compression, which we'll get into later. This is our truss. Now, it weighs a lot, too. It, it, it has weight, too. The way is determined, we go by pounds per feet. So, how long is our truss, or how wide is our truss? So, from this point here, and this point here, this is what's called our span. Okay? This is our span. And in this case, our span is 40 feet. So we have 40 feet of truss. Now, different truss weighs different amounts. In this case, our weight is 10 pounds for every foot. So we do some simple multiplication. And this calculation is real easy because we're dealing with tens. So 40 times 10 is simply 400 pounds. However, remember, we're going to multiply, we're going to add another 20%. So 400 pounds, again, multiplied by 0 0.2. Okay, so that's 0, 0, 8. Move the decimal over to there. It's 80 pounds. Now, we take our 400 pounds plus our 80 and we add them together, and that's 480 pounds. Now, that's our truss. Okay, now this is the weight of our truss with our safety calculated into it. So our truss plus our lights, that's going to equal our load. All right, so our truss is 480. Our lights, remember, were 720. Zero, zero, one. Four plus one is five, plus seven is 12. So we're looking at 1,200 pounds of our load. All right. We have 1,200 pounds. So right now we're getting a good guesstimate that each of our motors, which are these guys right here, here, and here, needs to lift 1,200 pounds. However, there's two of them. So we divide 1,200 divided by 2 is 600. Now that's we're, 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 that's just a rough idea right now. The question is, is this is what, our, do we need a 600 pounds motor capacity? We're probably going to need more. Because this is just the simple first line of math of calculating the total weight and we can do this in this case because everything is symmetrical and we know each motor is going to be pulling the same amount of weight. But let's go a little further. To do this correctly, let's take a look at some weights that are off-center and the calculations that go into them.